Well, finally, it is Friday. It's the weekend, and we are uh, talking about the week to come. Of course, the Bulls are back, but um, reluctantly, I guess. Uh, we have Andrew Allen joining us now on Editors Roundtable. He's uh, he joins us from Avendis Alternate Strategies. Andrew, thanks a lot for being with us. So, you know, as we were talking about how FIs have come back, but not in a big way. Uh, Bulls are also back, but they're trying their best to get above that 18,300 mark. Uh, do you think the Indian market has resumed its upside? And if yes, what's the best way to approach the markets now? So I think we've been getting some uh, some flows because obviously after the the, you know, the Fed uh, increased rates by 25 basis points, um, you know we've obviously come to that point now where everyone's looking to to the point of uh, when the Fed will cut. Um, which we think will be by the end of this year by, you know, anywhere between 50 to 100 basis points. But the big news is that, you know, if, if you're looking at, you know, the reason behind this, apart from the kind of unintended consequences of higher rates, which would be a possible recession, um, then obviously Asia will have a, a, the ability to, to cut rates a lot quicker because obviously a lot of our external Inflation is is from oil and uh, and other commodity prices, so those would likely fall. So I we you know we 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 said last time that we think the the, the RBI could actually cut rates by twenty five basis points uh, in October of this year, and that's why you're seeing this rally across uh, emerging markets. Uh, so we're getting our flows because of that. I don't think necessarily because uh, it's been a great earnings season or there's any new catalyst uh, you know for our market to move higher. Uh, from, from the current kind of high valuations that we have, so it's really a it's really a, a flow of funds rather than it's a, it's it's any kind of new kind of uh, optimism towards India right at this second. Okay, Andrew, that's very interesting. Uh, rate cut from RBI. That's something which of course would be welcomed by everyone. Uh, uh, in that regard, uh, uh, what about the Fed? Uh, do you think we are somewhere close to the pivot? Uh, and uh, at some point this year, uh, is that going to be a reality as well? I, I think the Fed is is, has, is done now. Uh, I mean, I think um, you know the criteria that we've we've been looking at the critical factors are, have been any unintended consequences of of the rate tightening uh, or rate increases, and that's what you've seen in the banking sector in the U.S. I think with the credit crunch that's happening at the moment, that could spread, um, you know, towards uh, the, the the kind of commercial real estate and, and mortgage market, which would be quite scary. Um, so I think the Fed has to bring rates down um, and 50 to 100 basis points, you know, starting from uh, November of this year. And that's why I'm saying that I think Asia has the ability to, to, to reduce rates a lot quicker. So, Andrew, uh, how are you positioned in your long short fund? Uh, you know, what about IT? Are you still short or are you looking at, uh, given the way US is going to pan out, you're looking to buy IT stocks now? It's, a, it's it's all about timing, isn't it? It's it's um, uh, you know, my if I if I said that um, you know, I would buy tech or I'd buy IT on the first uh, rate cut by by the um, you know by the Federal Reserve, uh, because you know then people look more at growth stocks. But I think the market is trying to play it now uh, in the U.S. in terms of uh, you know the tech stocks. It's not kind of factored into our IT stocks. And I think there's still more downgrades to come for IT companies. Now, the question is, what's the the the, the, uh, the quantum of that downgrade? I think it's anywhere between five to ten percent for the for the big boys in terms of earnings downgrade. Now, you can take a call and say, you know, would the share price fall by that amount? And that's the kind of level I would get in, or will I just follow the momentum because the correlations are, are quite high. Uh, between uh, you know tech in the US and and uh, IT in, in 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 India, so you know we might go with a lag of three months. So I would say here or here around, it's, it's starting to look more interesting than it was. But I still think there's downgrades to come for the sector, so that might just have a dampening effect or have a lower prices. If market is correct for whatever reason, IT will be the first to fall. All right, uh, Andrew. What about uh, banks? You know, there's been a consensus uh, bullishness on banking names. How are y'all positioned? PSU banks they had their share of a re-rating, but it seems now private sector banks are being preferred. How are y'all positioned? Yeah, it's. I, I've always said uh, for many years now that uh, you, you rent the PSU banks, you don't buy them or own them for a long time, and and that always proves to be the case. So. Um, 
Listen, if you think uh, if you think I'm right that the RBI will reduce rates by 25 basis points in October, then the banking sector is the only place to be, right? So uh, it's been a theme that we've been playing out for some time. I still don't think the next six months will see the. I mean, we might get that momentum for for, for the Nifty to go higher, uh, but I still think there's going to be hiccups along the way, and and uh, you know, globally and locally. Um, so I think we're in that kind of tight range of, of well, a, a wide range of seventeen to eighteen thousand plus uh, for the for the next few months before we kind of move ahead at the back end of the year. The reason I'm saying that is that I think um, I, I listened to your earnings. Uh, uh, upgrades and downgrades, and the interesting point was that most of the um, upgrades have been in mid-cap companies, while your downgrades have been in large-cap companies. So I think that will continue for another quarter. But I think towards the back end of the year, you'll start to see the momentum in earnings um, start to pick up again and with upgrades. And that's what's going to get FII's coming back to India a lot stronger uh, in the second half of the year. So, you know, could, mm. the, could Nifty be at 20,000 by March of next year? Yes, it could. Okay, well, that's what uh, you know. The bulls want to hear, right? And our viewers want to hear. Nifty at twenty thousand by uh, next year. I mean, it, it doesn't look like a, uh, you know, it, it doesn't look like an impossible task at this point in time, given that FIs are back in a big way. Twenty thousand actually would be disappointment for bulls, uh, you know, at this rate, uh, Sonia, because uh, you know we are almost at what eighteen thousand three hundred yeah. or so. So that would, I mean, I think the bulls would be aiming for twenty one thousand. Okay. Given the kind of uh, momentum that... Anuj is a bit more optimistic than Andrew Holland, but we'll take the optimism with both hands. Thanks, sir, Andrew, for joining in. Appreciate your thoughts on CNBC TV 18. And to all of you viewers, have a great weekend. We'll see you again on Monday.